uh, along its z-axis I'm gonna clear the command window of MATLAB and right now I'm gonna explain to you how to use absolute coordinates in order to move the robot in a line toward a destination point so to do so we are going to use the function move btb line in the factor so we have to specify the coordinates of the destination point the coordinates of the destination point here is going to be a cell array of six elements the first three elements are the x, y, z coordinates of the destination point while the other, the remaining three elements are the alpha, beta, gamma fixed rotation angles that are going to define the orientation of the end effector with respect to the base of the robot so let's start coding first of all I'm going to use a variable, call it pause, and I'm going to store in it the current position of the end factor. Uh, how do I get the current uh, position or orientation of the end factor? To do so, I have to use the function get end factor pause. And I give the TCBIB communication object, and this is the current position of the end factor. The first three elements are the x, y, z coordinates. The second three elements are the rotation angles, fixed rotation angles. Now I'm gonna define destination this boss, destination position. This destination position, first I'm gonna uh, store in it the current position of the end effector then let me say that I want to move the end effector on a line uh, along the y-axis 5 centimeters to the, to the negative direction of the y-axis so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna test pause change I'm gonna change uh, the y-coordinates of the destination position so the index of the y coordinate is 2 so it shall be uh, 50 millimeters from the current position as and as you can see here <coughs> uh, the destination position is 15 millimeters back in the y direction from the current position so to move the robot in a line using absolute coordinates of the destination point I'm gonna use the function move btb line in the factor and I'm gonna give it as a first argument the TCBIB communication object the second argument is going to be the destination position and the third argument is going to be the linear velocity at which the row with the factor is going to move let it be uh, 10 centimeters per second and hit enter and you see the robot has moved 5 centimeters in the y direction toward the back now let me say that I want uh, the end effector to move uh, 10 centimeters uh, back in the y direction from where it is right now. So what we have to do is uh, we have the initial, the current destination position. and the required destination position is going to be 10 centimeters away from the current destination position so this is the coordinates of the destination point uh, where the robot is going to move 
uh, and align. Then I'm going to use the function move vpb align in the vector do the same as before you say I'm going to move with 115 millimeters per second and here the robot moved 10 centimeters in the negative direction in the negative y direction uh, with a velocity of 150 millimeters per second so this is pretty much how you can perform uh, linear motion of the ND factor using the Kukas and Rise toolbox. And uh, this is the difference between the absolute way of defining the destination point and the relative way of defining the destination point using displacements. And thank you very much.